Mumble. Watch your back, Guardian. No one else will. Heavy ammo inbound. Oh. 
five minutes remaining. Heavy ammo available. the lead. Finish them. Shown your might, Guardian. Well fought. Whew, that was a tough game. I just played the nice time for the review. The Unbent Tree is the name of this gun. It is an auto rifle, high rate of fire, low impact arc type, and basically it's similar to the Doctrine. And to be honest, this, this gun is pretty good. It came with counterbalance. I got to drop a counterbalance. I like the sight. The perks I got are brace frame, armor pierce around, armor pierce around to add a little bit of range, that's why I picked it, and counterbalance. The only thing I would say I don't like about the gun, and I like the gun, only thing I don't like is the ammo decrease when you put brace frame on, but that problem can easily be fixed because in this spot right here you can get a pendants magazine and what a pendants a pendants magazine i think that's how you pronounce that it adds ammo to the clip so you could get all that ammo back lost
pump breaks frame. So that's how you fix the little low magazine problem. Other than that, the gun is great. It performs great. And I mean, of course, I, of course, I'm gonna say one thing. All the rifles need a buff. First thing first. This is a good gun, but all the rifles need a buff. Many people have said it because one, they have no place on the competitive scene. There are no more auto rifles on a competitive scene. They had like Doctrine. In Doctrine's Prime, it was one of those guns. It was on a competitive scene. I mean, it was probably crazy in its prime. But then after that, it received the two nerfs. The two damage nerfs. Which, and, and then it received the magazine nerf. Okay, first off, the magazine nerf, nerfing the magazine size, all right. That's understandable. But the damage nerf, I mean, really? You could bring this thing back to the damage it used to do before. And I mean, not po not um, um the auto rifle damage buff. I mean, back when pulse rifles were like at the top of their game, back in the beginning of Taken King, back when pulse rifles were the crucible. The Doctrine was a good gun to use. It had a good amount of time to kill. Then they buffed it and it became crazy. If they make the Doctrine's damage go back to that state, I feel this gun would be a lot better. Because, one, it does not have enough range to compete with guns like Grasper Malik, Grasper Malik, um, Hawksaw, that Hawksaw archetype doesn't have enough damage to compete with guns like Mida and plus they got a whole bunch of new legendaries in that archetype now in that Mida archetype you got the Angels of Advocate and you got the new Iron Banner Scout which is also in that archetype I need to try to get that thing to drop from a bounty because I want to do a review on that too because I don't use Mida but one because Mida is an exotic and has 90 aim assist but I will use a legendary in the same archetype because one, I like using legendaries. But other than that, that's my thoughts on the state of auto rifles. I feel they could use a little damage buff, just a damage buff. Either that or a range buff. You don't even have to do a damage buff. Either you, you can give them a range buff, Bungie, because they, they, auto rifles do not have a spot on the competitive scene in competitive crucible. I mean, in competitive gameplay, most of the things you see are pulse rifles, grass pneumatic, hawkshaw, uh, everything else in hawkshaw's archetype, hand cannons, Aos, Luna, palindrome, scout rifles, there's Mida, and then there's, I don't know, I, don't, I haven't seen too many people use the legendary versions of a Mida Multitude, but there are those guns as well. I, I feel those legendary guns, once people find out what all type they're in, they're going to be, people might use those more too. But that's my thoughts on the auto rifles. They could use either a damage buff or a range buff. Everything else is fine. Just buff the range so they could do max damage all the time. I mean, you don't have to do max damage all the time. Just buff the range so where they can compete against those other guns like you've seen in a gameplay like I was using this gun and there would be a hunter rushing me with a shotty the gun killed the kill time on the gun was not enough to kill that guy before he could reach me he would always end up with a little bit of health left that should not happen especially with this archetype because this archetype freaking supposed to be milk people it's supposed to punish people like shotgunners and stuff like the last word it punishes people who rush with a shotgun this archetype of gun is basically a submachine gun it is supposed to destroy anybody that's rushing you with a shotgun and it kind of doesn't do that I mean if you land all the shots all the head shots maybe it will but if you want to going against somebody with like a high armor titan and he's rushing you 
nine times out of ten you are not going to kill that guy in time especially on a small map like last exit but other than that this gun is a good gun the roll is really fun to use the roll I recommend I really recommend brace frame counterbalance of course but if you can my guard roll for this gun would be brace frame appendix magazine so you can get that magazine size up to around 50 like originally it's supposed to be around 50 and counterbalance that would be my guard roll for this this auto rifle but in that it's a bullet hole it melts people's faces off in a primary to primary gunfight one on one if you close enough you are gonna melt that guy's face off I mean you're gonna eat you're gonna eat him up the gun is literally gonna eat him up and that are my that's that's my thoughts this is a good weapon grind out iron banner because a lot of them drop and I've been seeing a lot of them drop a counterbalance too so you don't have to grind too hard to get it to drop a counterbalance the goal is to get it to drop a brace frame that's the goal so you can get that doctrine look of looking looking stats on it alright erd not out I'm about to go grind more iron banner hopefully I can get that scout hopefully I can get the pulse rifle too the pulse rifle is in grass schematics archetype and I feel that pulse rifle with the right perks it might dethrone grasp malik i've seen one of my clanmates has it it might dethrone grasp malik as being the top of the crucible with the pulse rifle all right er not out time to go grind some more iron banner